Ralph. Cool. Hey, how you there, Ralphie? Ralph. Ralph, what's going on? What's your take? Well, here's a take on it. We look. Let's look at your president for now, and let's take the documents that we know he had. Perfect. Okay. That he took. Mm -hmm. while he was a senator and the vice president, which never should have been out, out of the jock. So explain you, you, to me why Jayden, he's not guilty. Jaden, you load up? Mm -hmm. Did you load up on this one? I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I have thing. Go ahead. You I'm think ready. it's funny. It's treason. I think it's funny because you just walked into the goddamn lion's den. Both of us well, have bring read. It. Bring well, bring it. Listen, listen, listen. Both of us have read the full report. So, but go ahead. On. You read the full report that you have a president who's incapable of standing trial mentally. That's not what it says. And if you actually read the report, you'd know that. Okay, what does the report say exactly? Here. Okay, sure. I will read it verbatim. This is section two analysis. The evidence does not establish that Mr. Biden or anyone else knowingly removed or retained the classified documents found at the University of Delaware. These papers appear to have been included in the Senate papers by mistake. First, Mr. Biden depended on staffers to maintain the Senate files, organize and pack them, transport them to a proper place of storage, and review them before they were sent to the University of Delaware. No evidence suggests he knew these classified documents were within his massive collection of papers. Further, given the age of the documents, we found no evidence that Mr. Biden personally viewed any of them while he was a member of the Senate. Mr. Biden sat on the committee that generated these documents, but it's entirely plausible that they were handled by his staff and that Mr. Biden never viewed them himself. There is also no record of Mr. Biden's review of the documents before or after he donated them to the university. As a matter of historical context, there have been numerous previous incidents in which marked classified documents have been discovered intermixed with personal papers of former executive branch officials and members of Congress. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the ones that were in his garage. Dami, do you want to take that part? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's one. hear it. Awesome. Cool. So the documents that were in his garage, some of them are older from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. Um, were they declassified? Ones, no one knows. No one knows if they're classified still or not. Um, but even to that regard, they just have to do with communications with Soviet officials. So At least that's um, what also, we've that's been told. Pre that's pre-standardization of the law. But number two was the Afghanistan documents, which there's no evidence that he intended to retain them. Well, there's no evidence that Trump intended to retain the documents oh, that is. he has because he was currently working with the archives to return the documents. So no, we have and when there were only 11 documents, Great. why does the media this. continue to show boxes of bankers boxes why, because, because there was thousands yeah bro there was thousands of classified states. documents no there were 11. yes no there was over a hundred that were top secret there was thousands of, of documents that were classified even if you if you, you want to agree that it was a hundred or even if you want to say there's a thousand that doesn't fit a hundred bankers boxes so it's not all of those are not all of those are oh exactly uh, but that's well, what that's the media that's... portrays so i don't no. care what the media portrays i'm not the media well <laughs> I don't that's care what you want to just so like, he had back to but january he had 6. some of the most so he oh, had some we of the go most... back to january 6th now let's take a trip to back to january 6th let's not and stay on oh. what we're talking about how's that sound how about democrats for years have been saying, punch him in the mouth. You'll have to put oh, a bullet Excuse me, we're talking about the classified Trump. documents, Ralph. Ralphie. That was actually you know, Donald Trump that said that stuff. So awesome, Ralph. cool. We're going to talk, oh, really? talk about the documents. Donald Trump signed. What exactly hey, okay, were the documents? Listen, what hey, have Ralph, you been told? I'm gonna hit have you, you with actually the, seen hey, the document? Hey, Ralph, I'm going to hit you with the mute hey. if you can't stop, man. Awesome. Thank God. Donald Trump signed an affidavit saying he did not have any of the documents. He did not have any of those documents. He signed an affidavit. He then showed off the documents that he said he did not have to people that did not have the security clearance to see them. See how that works? I don't know. That sounds like a he said, she said. Do That's we have not. proof? He's on audio. He, he literally has a signature on paper and his lawyer told him that he would be committing a crime if he knowingly was holding on to documents, which Donald Trump did know because he tried to delete evidence. 
uh, literally tried to delete stuff off a server, which I find funny. Oh, delete uh, evidence. He enlisted that- help to go through. Yes, he enlisted help to go through the document or the the boxes. Ooh. Yeah, uh, De Oliveira. Uh, Oliveira is what's his name? De Oliveira is the tech guy that Donald Trump asked to delete stuff off of his uh, off oh. his server. So that that wouldn't be any different than Hillary Clinton advising staff members yeah. to beat blackberries with hammers, pour bleach on servers, or having a private server in her own basement. What are you talking about, man? So Hillary yeah, if Clinton you think was... that's illegal, then yeah, Trump did the same thing. It's equally illegal. So yeah, there you go. So so where's the charges for Hillary? She was cleared. Right, she was cleared by Republicans. She was yeah. cleared. So. Why are we even talking about Donald Trump? Because Because she was cleared by Republicans. Because it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not fit the narrative. Hillary Clinton's emails. Here, let's take Let's take a, you use the excuse or in the report, use the excuse that was handled by staffers. It's not the excuse. That's what they found. Okay. So in the hearings in New York, where they went after Trump's sons, who that testified related, that that, is that was handled by staffers. That was, that was a business charge. Yeah, but it's still, for, it was handled by staffers. For the documents case in New York, he's being tried in Florida. Stay on topic, please. Well, the, the, well what's the topic? The top is 91 the charges. Classified documents case is the indictment that we're talking about right now. Okay. Okay. And those classified documents were secure? No. And photographic no. evidence shows them out in the open in places like a ballroom or a bathroom or a back closet. But do we know season. if that's a ballroom that's used by the public? It was used several times, yes. That we know of. That Do we have pictures? Yes, yes we or have pictures. Or is this speculation? Do we know? It's on stage. In the well, here's the question. Stage on the sides of it. Were they actually there? Or is that where the Secret Service they or, they, that is or the is FBI that where they staged documents. them? How do we know that's where they were and that's not where they were staged? Staged by whom? Uh, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. You're hilarious. They weren't staged by anyone. They were. T- How do you know? There, and we know that because there's text conversations and emails included in the indictment that dictates where he wanted those documents to be placed. Some of them in his office, some of them elsewhere. And the Secret Service is there? Secret Service is there. Well, here's sure. the question. Most of those raids They're happen when you're... A, most of those yeah, raids happen when your attorney is present, mm-hmm. where there's a separate party to witness everything that's happening. Mm-hmm. They received a warrant. Yeah. They, they received, received a warrant. A warrant. As they were, no, no they Donald Trump was, five days no, prior. yeah, Donald Trump knew he was going to be raided by the FBI. They gave him a warning. It was like, a, yeah, it was like 45 minute warning. Oh, uh, 45 minute warning. Hey, I know you're in New York, but in 45 minutes, we're going to hit your Mar-a-Lago, bro. <clears throat> Do you not think that Donald Trump can have, doesn't have a lawyer on retainer? I understand that, but I, he's got more than one. He's got a team of them. Exactly. And why are you complaining? I'm, be- I'm complaining because none of the rules that apply to regular Americans apply to Democrats. They yes, they the do. Hillary rules. Hillary Clinton was cleared of a bipartisan can, uh, uh, committee led by Trey Gowdy. So it wasn't exactly a nonpartisan deal. That guy's very and, partisan. What it, what it was is one of those technicalities. They you know, like, cleared her. Because they didn't have any evidence. What they shouldn't have cleared her of is destroying evidence. But so they don't know if they were destroying evidence, evidence because everything was She didn't everything destroy was destroyed. evidence. She didn't destroy evidence. And no, everything was not destroyed. The stuff that was deleted off of her server, by the way, was uh, stuff that largely had to do with scheduling conflicts. In fact, Donald Trump himself said this. It's in the indictment that Donald Trump said that he talked with the lawyers and the stuff that they deleted had to do with scheduling issues and day-to-day stuff. So no, there's no evidence that she did any wrongdoing. No, it's not criminal wrongdoing. There were some things with policy that had to be addressed. Really? Because it's policy to put a private server in your house. No, it's definitely not. But does it arise to criminality? Well, there's evidence. You had it does in it, your house. Does it rise to criminality? And she didn't have top secret documents on that server, dude. How do we know? Because it was investigated by the FBI. Right, and it, her records, and it was whatever. You, y'all can keep eating, drinking the Kool Aid. Jim Jones will love you. That's actually uh-huh. wild. The projection, wild the projection. Well, because you're drinking the the Kool Aid of the left. So you have you a president. Believe everything they listen, say, listen, like listen, listen. I don't believe everything they say. I believe what the Republicans said in the Republican led committee that exonerated well, her. They did not know, find any evidence of intent. They did not, not find every any Republican evidence. Is Please a stop Republican. talking. Thank you. They did not find evidence of intent. They did not find evidence of criminal wrongdoing, period. 
Did she do things wrong? Yes. If Donald Trump had taken these documents home and knew that he did wrong and turned them in, guess what? He would not be getting indicted and nobody would be for indicting him because he cooperated with the investigation, but that's not what he did. He destroyed evidence. He, obs he obstructed the, uh, the investigation at every level in every turn. And he took the most secret documents we have as a country and then lied about having them for a year and a half until they kicked his door in. These are distinctly different in the things that Democrats do versus what Donald Trump did. How can you blindly believe whatever they tell you? It's not blind. We're looking at the evidence. I don't. I okay, read did the report they written by a Trump appointee. Did they show you the alleged top secret document? I mean, I dealt with them my whole time in the military career. So, or did they just take a stamp and put it on a file and say, that's top secret? You sure don't know, do you? I'm not sure. No, so we I actually know. know. I'm asking. Hold, on, hold on. I don't know what you're talking about or why we would need because it goes through what's called SEPA, which Donald Trump lawyers have refused to engage in to determine the classification. But these are classified documents. They're summaries that are be going to be given to the courts um, and they're going to be argued over, over what can be released to the courts, what can be released to the jury. But these are classified documents and Donald Trump has never denied that. There's an audio tape of him admitting that the documents that he has are classified. Classified? There are multiple classifications. Are they confidential? Tops? Are they top secret? secret compartment. Are they top, top secret? secret? Are they special top, category? Top secret what are compartmentalized. They? Top secret compartmentalized information. At least that's what we've been told. That's what he says. He said, quote, highly secret. Highly secret. You know, it's funny. My whole military career, I never saw anything marked highly secret. I said top secret. He said it was highly secret. He said it was secret. It was highly secret. But he's okay. He uses dumb words. That but sounds the like secret that they, to me, not they, top but the, secret. the document was recovered by the FBI and the FBI like and national said. security for hold on. National security um, experts have confirmed that this is a secret, top secret document. Okay. At least that's what they say. You keep saying that you haven't read the indictment, man. I haven't read the document. You know, you don't have access to them. Right. Exactly. I don't. So I can, I, can, I can direct you to lawfaremedia.org. It has I understand that. I truly understand that. You know, right, you but telling me it's top secret doesn't mean he squat. says he says it's classified. Donald Trump. He says, says it's yes, secret. It's classified. Highly he secret. says it. He says it's classified and it's highly secret. That's what he says. OK, so that that could just be secret. Not top secret. They have the document. It is a top secret document. I understand they have the document. Yeah. But they're only going to tell us what they want us to believe. What Donald Trump isn't denying anything about the documents. Being right. Top he secret. said it was secret, highly secret. I get that. Donald Trump is not denying that the documents that he had are top secret. See? He has never denied that. All right, bro. Uh, well. We all have a good night. <laughs> Keep drinking the Kool Aid. Okay. Right, the projections saying, wild. The moonshine. The projections well, Jim wild. Jim Jones man. would have loved you guys. It's the projection for me. They literally are like the most fanatical, gullible people. That Donald Trump can do no wrong, and they call us being in part of a cult. It it all stems like any time oh, that we say something, they co-opt it and then do a worse version of it. Like, you know, you're in a cult. That's literally what we were saying about them because they're yeah. Or like bootlicker, you know? Or facts over feelings. What was that? Shapiro? Who came up with that? I don't know. Mm. But they literally just co-op shit and then attempt to use it in really bad, awful ways.